So I got to uh, explore my new neighborhood, uh, and I walked down to the 7-Eleven at the end of my street, and in front of the 7-Eleven was a homeless guy playing a board game. He was playing the game of life <laughs> against himself. <laughs> now, if he loses the game of life, it's redundant, but it's so much worse if he actually wins, and he's like, oh, I knew I should have gone to school, got married, and had twins instead of going off to fight in that war that I didn't have any choice about. I knew I was making the wrong call at that time. Uh, but I walk into the 7-Eleven, and uh, because you often go in, you're like, oh, it's the middle of the day, I need a used Jean-Claude Van, DB Van DVD, I need a, uh, I don't know, a Snapple brand energy drink, and what the heck, an Italian sausage that is neither Italian nor food. Uh, and over the PA, someone announces, customer service, customer service, please. Why do you need a PA in a 7-Eleven? They're the size of a white-collar jail cell. Like, you can hear anything that anyone... They're so small, you can hear things that people are thinking. Like, telekinetic... You, you have that. They're so small that that's there. But why do you say... What was going to happen if you say customer service? Like, I looked around, and no one blinked. It didn't change anything. I was like, would you get bored when you're working there? Do you just start announcing and, like, asking for, like, departments that don't exist? Like, automotive! But then I noticed there wasn't even a microphone. I don't know who said that. So what if it was just a tape that was playing in the 7-Eleven all day? <laughs> Customer service. Smile. <laughs> don't even think about burning this place to the ground. <laughs> Courtesy. <laughs> Helpful. It's like a step away from being in They Live and just consume. <laughs> consume. <laughs> hey, uh, by a round of applause, how great was segregation? Sorry, I think I forgot my transition that goes before that. Hey guys, do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and write something down only to read it in the morning and realize you're a sleep racist? <laughs> you know how much greater that is when the paper that you've written it on has a letterhead that says, have a Hitler day? <laughs> my favorite crime-based board game is Clue. And I realize that that's a large genre. I really had to be. Yes, applause for Clue. Um, which I'm beginning to realize might be about a hate crime. See, Mr. Body has this big house, and I know when you have a big house, you got to name the rooms, you get lost. It's like, that's the room with my crap, and that's the other one with my crap. His house has a lounge, and a study, and a library, and a billiard room, and a conservatory, and a ballroom, and a ballroom, and a full-time ballroom, a ballroom in his house. He has a ballroom, full-time ballroom in his house. Between the billiard room and the ballroom, those are two rooms dedicated to just balls, Ballroom, full-time ballroom. Here's a list of the straight men that can get away with having a ballroom in their house. Boz Lerman, no one else ever. That's the big three. That's the entire list of who gets to make that cut.